What up, homies? And today, we're gonna react to Chapter 7 of the Godzilla NES Creepypasta. Chapter 7, Zenith. Alright, and without further ado, let's begin with the video. By the way, this this is rated PG-13, so, um, yeah, not suitable for children under the age of 13. Alright, so yeah, you know the drill. This is going to be, according to Godzilla, this is going to be extremely rated R. So we're going to make this as PG-13 as possible. So yeah. Alright, let's get move on. Alright, here we go, the final world. Final world. Really, buddy? Just let you have some fun. It's a, it's a good song, bro. Uh, yeah, sorry, gotta get. It's okay. Alright, come on, guys, this is the final world. Come on, let's react already. Alright. I warn you guys. Cameraman. Get behind the tablet. You know what I mean. Why? You guys, let's just say you guys are not prepared what's about to happen. Even no matter how much you get prepared for it. Not even myself. Uh. Okay. I have a bad feeling about this. Well, you're correct. Wait, what? Okay, let's start the reaction. And here we are. At the final world. I don't like to discuss this part. And it still bothers me very much. But it's something I have to do so that I can put this behind me. People deserve to know. At this point, I was well aware of the game's unnatural nature, but Zenith was different than the other worlds. While the worlds were certainly strange and sometimes frightening, the world of Zenith was a nightmare. And I didn't have to go any further to the board screen for an indication that something What's that one guy? No, 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 at least I'm in this, but a different version of me. But it's still me. Different design. Yeah, like with me. Man, the scary chills already. We never even really get to the world yet. Oh, you're gonna get more than just chills, my friend. Man, stop it. You're scaring me. It's the truth, bro. What? <gasps> Oh my gosh. What is up with this game, man? I don't know. Godzilla, I'm scared. Yeah, I know, buddy. It still terrifies me, even though I know about the story. And I read it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> For once... I'm not gonna blame you, Whitehead. I tried to select it, and this happened. <gasps> what the hell was going on? Yeah, you bet. But the more like, what the beep is going on? PG-13, man. Shut up. Beep up. No, you shut up. What the hell? Don't get fucked, sir. Guys, calm down. You were supposed to calm down, Donkey? What's what's happening like that? No animation. No music. Dead. Every instinct I well, had was telling you... me to stop playing. Stop. To just turn the game yeah. off. Turn it off, Donkey. Turn it. You should have turned it off a long time ago. Mm-hmm. That's just the TV and screen and the password the thingy, whatever. The question. Question mark, now. whatever. Not on the last oh, no. I can't Besides, imagine. I felt the game owed me some answers. As much as it kills me to say it, he does. Oh, yeah. So at least mm -hmm. I would be familiar with the level graphics, if nothing 
anything else, I went to Godzilla. The monster I was oh, no. What the? Oh, no. Godzilla had been shrunk. The level had oh, my gosh. Had Not you, Godzilla. You shrunk. It's not my fault. The music was similar to the Blue Temple, also. Strange, haunting vocalizations. I tried to get oh, my like spirits Like, ten times, a hundred times more disturbing. Well, this level Just... is like the Blue Temple, then that might mean there are no enemies to deal with. Oh my gosh. How wrong I was. No, 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 man, you just did. Walk, it... All the statues no, 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 no. No, I need no. What the? So those guys again? I thought they would never come back. This battle greatly tested my reflexes, but thanks to my speed, I plowed through the beasts. They gave off this no is just the beginning of the dying, level, which helped the first the level. Given me. However, as I continued through the hallway, the statue's eyes glowed again. No, so no, 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 What? As I went Weird. Through, yeah. I went this game is terrifying. It is. Oh, I've never gotten killed so bad in my life. I'm a story like this. Have many attacks, but they could yeah, me, neither. me neither. Me neither. Me neither. All of us basically... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh no, I don't trust this one. Any of the pleasant feelings I had for the blue age were not present. No, 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 man. As it hovered around. No, man. Its eye stockets started glowing, just like the statues summoning monsters to attack me. No, no, don't say it. This must have been some kind of. So scary. The battle was nerve-wracking. I started off with nearly half my health. Yeah, again, I normally tell you to not cry like a crybaby, well but you can. Because I don't to blame me, you. Worse, as the Red Angel took Thanks for what? Panels fell off until only three remained. But my luck had not run out yet. Just when I thought it was over, I struck the Red Angel one more time. Oh. And it turned oh, out that goodness. one last hit was all it could take. Just as the Red Angel Instantly went back to the zenith board. I moved Mothra over to the nearest stage from the Red Temple, which seemed to be a garbled mess of letters, spelling, and machines that had gone blank. As suspected, oh, oh, oh my all gosh. The level oh my ears. Letters, and oh, Mothra, shut up, I like don't see Oh, gosh. I began to suspect that oh, the scene was like this. Why do we have to be all shrunk in size? I don't know. Someone put all the sounds that any guest was capable of making into a blender and then piecing them back together into a song. I had to turn the volume down because of it. Playing as Mothra made avoiding the enemies easier. My gosh. They were nonetheless determined to get at me. The first enemies I saw were headless guy gans. And what? later on they were headless me headless me previous bosses. I don't know like what the is <laughs> going on, man. This is up. Yeah, it is. What? Uh, uh, oh my gosh. Forms of monsters fused together <gasps> in one enormous terrifying hybrid. Oh my gosh. 
Once I had gotten through the initial shock, I discovered the way to destroy this thing, constantly shooting eye beams at the Hedora cluster that formed its heads. What in the world? No comment. I'm just speechless. Me neither. Uh, guys, I'm trembling. Me too. Oh, man. If that's the case, how bad will the rest of Zenith be? Oh boy. With two levels down and three to go, yeah. my monsters and I had taken our foothold in the world of nightmares that was Zenith. You think, man? Deciding what actions to take next was more tense and difficult than ever before. But ultimately, I had no way of knowing what the next level would be like, or how well my monsters would be prepared for them. So my only option was to guess. I tried to interpret what the icons of the next levels ahead of me were. Oh boy. The last level yeah. before the boss battles was obviously representing some kind of volcanic area of lava and molten flames. Yeah. The middle icon I still don't get, except that it looked fleshy and vague like an orc of some kind. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I will feel the same. There was a massive gap in the ground I was walking on when the ground collided with something. I would have swam across it and continued walking to the right, but due to the huge mass of brambles in the way, there was nowhere to go. Two creatures with wide membranes on their arms. I'm sorry, guys, if we don't have to show this, but this guy is good work, but ugh. Yeah. That's wild, creepy. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Because we just can't show it. My gosh. Oh, yeah. We just can't show it, guys. It may be too violent. Yeah, blood, guts, and gore. Duh, it's a shark. Yeah. Well, not all sharks are like that. Yeah. But they can be aggressive predators. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Don't care. Mm. <laughs> A note regarding the brambles. You can stand on them when it causes pain. You can also destroy some of the vines, but only the thinner ones. I had to destroy multiple vines as well as dealing with four enemies. Then I was confronted by a screen. This screen was only up for about 30 seconds. Then when it went what? Back, I was facing One world? Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my god. Some sort of ability. Instantly, the creature's belly was split open from the inside.
inside me. And as the load of its body was ripped apart and fell into the river below, the blood lay as far as the could get. It came flying towards me, making a shrill, hacking scream. I was forced to move back. The bat was a highly mobile boss, fast and difficult to hit. As I moved back along the ground, the monster opened its mouth and shot out a barrage of needles. I jumped over them and managed to blow to the head, and it started flying out of my reach. As much as I like to be in this game again, I, I don't want to get caught up with this. And started trying to hit me with the flames. Oh my gosh. I rolled along the ground, which drained my power, but put us at evil speed. This cycle repeated for about three times oh until the monster my. defeated. With most of my health drained, Goodness. I the edge of the level, and the this made me stumble with my words. Please, no more. No more. This is torture. It is. And also the mysterious fifth monster. I tried accessing it again, but with no luck. I chose to use Godzilla again. He looks like a cool monster, too. Who knows? He might actually be powerful. The most powerful one. We'll have to see. Don't get dinosaur. Right from the start, I could see that the graphics were freakishly different. Ugh. The atmosphere was gruesome and Ugh. Ugh. with the addition of the loud droning music. I was dreading what I was seeing this level, and it was only a few seconds before something appeared. Two hideous things. It's hard to describe yeah. what was this level. Ugh. Everything has this disturbing, semi-real look to it. Most of the enemies look halfway between real animals and misshapen lumps of gore and teeth. It's also worth noting that all of them were considerably oh larger than Godzilla. Gosh. And although the majority oh, of them were that's people, terrifying. Each of them took about yeah. three hits to kill. Due to this, it was a better idea to run away from them than fight. And it was never clear exactly what direction to run to. While most levels involve going through right to get to the exit, the path of this level is yeah. primarily going down by walking to the edge of one flat one and jumping down to a lower one. There was yeah. no way of making sure you were going to the right uh. way, nor any apparent means of getting back up to the high flat ones if necessary. Also, certain enemies acted as if they were aware you had to jump down. Weird gore looking T-Rex thing. Yeah. When this happened, As I went on, I came across platforms stacked above each other with little space in between, looking like a maze. This meant that I couldn't jump, and it made a sense. Yep, and this is definitely me. not... Thankfully, My, no, you know what. This is legit, man. Yep, but Shaw is not there. Oh, yuck. Uh... Uh, oh god, uh, I don't feel so good. Hold in there, buddy. We're almost done. Me, me, me neither, Ghidorah. Uh, hold in there. While trying to avoid the abominations that dwell in this level, I found out that if you stand idle in one place for too long, the ground what? Whoa. Yeah. And having to take in all of these disgusting sights made me want to puke. I nearly did pause the game to look for a bag, but I was able to hold it together. I also found a trick at the end of the level, though it was too late to do me any real good. If two different species of monsters run into each other face to face, they would fight each other and Whoa. leave me alone. I didn't intentionally cause this. It just happened. Finally, at the end, it was time for another boss fight. It was certainly ugly, but not quite as horrific as I feared it would be. Yeah. But more important, Disgusting. dealing with its appearance was defeating it. Yeah. And since I had less than half my health bar to start with, there was no I don't know how much I could take. It was attached to the floor when I 
I'm in there. Got to get Man, oh, all this, yeah, this is physically making me sick. Well, then that thug dinosaur. Yeah. It used this to its advantage and would float beneath the ground and then spring up randomly to bite you. We're gonna get another weird dinosaur thing. Yeah. Kicks to the face. The pink area on its upper jaw was its weak point. Too many hits there would cause it to spasm uncontrollably. The new strategy was to rapidly float up and down while moving back and forth across the stage, trying to constantly keep its jaws aimed. Health was getting critical at this point, and I spammed the key game, from which it had no defense. In the last stretch of the battle, the monster had lost its mind, rapidly rushing back and forth no. its no. I had to duck under it, and then strike while its back was weak. Twenty more hits, and it was destroyed. No. And then, it was oh. gone. Oh my gosh. No. Oh my god. What the? It was my one of the only songs that appeared more than once. The horrible screeching from when the hell beast appeared in the graveyard. Oh dear gosh. As soon as I started, there was already a <laughs> when I started fighting, several more centaurs appeared, coming from both sides of the screen. This is so intense. This poor guy. Exactly. The centaurs followed after, but seemed to be unable to help. After escaping the centaurs, I noticed gaps in the ground. While trying to avoid the jumping sword pal Benedict's in mid flight, I got close to the surface of the lava, and a creature emerged and tried to grab me. <gasps> it didn't succeed. What the I was startled. Beep, man. A careful maneuvering would be needed to avoid Beep. death here. Beep. As new enemies appeared, the level soon Beep. became Beep. very difficult. A lot of the trouble came from stocky red demons that stood on top of tall, narrow mountains and spewed fire. I don't think how much of I can take of this no more, man. Me neither, dude. It was at this time I noticed that I wasn't getting any help from killing enemies. Not all the ground was stable. At one point, the ground was reduced to small chunks that slowly drifted towards the right. Some of them would sink into lava upon landing on them. And then there was no way to tell which one would sink and which would not. Being so close to the lava added the threat of the lava creatures, and this was very frustrating to me. I was also feeling very hot, which made concentrating hard. If you've ever had a heat rash, it felt similar to that. I had periodic water because of it. Oh my gosh. This was almost certainly new to the game and not my imagination. Yeah. But I kept pushing the thought out of my head. I didn't want to think about it. At the end of the stage, I encountered the boss rising from the lava. Mm. Its arrival loaded an ungodly oh howl of war. Mm. When it walked uh. onto the land, Whoa. I saw how gigantic it oh was. Several times the size of Solomon. <gasps> I was about to fly up and attack oh my when God. it opened its mouth <laughs> and let out a huge blast of fire. I had to dodge the flames and then get close enough to the boss to fire a heat beam at its face, causing it to stumble backwards. If it didn't stumble backwards, it would have kept moving left until it forced Solomon into the lava, as there was no more ground within reach. The beast had to wait between uses of its fire breath, as it seemed to cost a great deal of energy. No. I used this time to attack, but fire wasn't its only weapon, and I had to be wary monster swatting at me with his clawed hand. Mm -hmm. As his health decreased, it moved faster, and the battle felt like a tug of war between the two monsters over this bridge of land. After oh about my gosh. Years, it was defeated, tumbling backwards into the lava from whence it came. And then, 
Alright, Cameron, you can go back now. Oh my gosh. Wow, I'm surprised. I actually get some likeness in this. Yeah. Well, I'm actually fighting you, Godzilla, this creepypasta. So, what, as it wasn't crazy enough. Yeah. Yeah, good. Cool. But it was only a few seconds before I realized what and sure enough, King Ghidorah used the power. No way, is that who I think it's gonna be? Yeah. Whoa. But what really shocked I transformed into the mecha what what? King Ghidorah version what? But it wasn't from the original King Godzilla. The music it was from the game Super Godzilla. It is Super Godzilla. Yep, it is. Whoa. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, very judge. I now outnumbered the enemy by four monsters to one, and Big received a sweet hand. Mm hmm. The base I found had changed to a blood red color. I could feel hatred emanating from it. Ugh. I started the fight against Destroyer and Idaris, and the music was the same as Ghidorah's. When the fight began, what the? Oh, yeah, Destroyer. Oh. Oh my gosh. This is intense. Oh, it's about to get even more intense. That's a cool shot. Yeah. Come on. You can do it, guys. My gosh. Oh. Uh. Oh my god. Yeah. Yay. The bosses are defeated. The kaiju bosses at least. Yeah. Oh no. Oh my gosh.
Uh, no. Yeah. Man. I really don't want to know this is the end. Like. Oh my gosh. It's a trick. Yes, it is a trick. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> 